Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for all things Charleston and beyond. I'm Ashley Mazervi. It's one of those things that some may take for granted. We're talking about electricity, and the value typically comes to mind when the threat of losing it, for instance, during a major storm, forces us to cross our fingers hoping the lights don't go out. But have you ever thought about what it takes to actually keep it all going? Well, today we're visiting the hardworking men and women at Berkeley Electric Cooperative to see how they must work together in order to keep us out of the dark. Joining us today, Teddy Jeffords. He's with Berkeley Electric Cooperative, and he's got me all kinds of and some get up. But before we get started, can you get this thing off me? Yes. Sir. Okay. All right, making it look cute. All right, so thanks for having us out today. You're welcome. All right, so you got me in this little get up. First of all, just kind of like, let's walk through it. I mean, it took a while to get in it, but I committed. All right, uh, first of all, we got our hooks down here which we use to climb poles when needed to. Hopefully we don't have to climb poles as much, but these are our hooks. Uh, and able to climb a pole, you're gonna have to need a climbing belt. And this is your belt that uh -huh. when you get up to the top of the pole, you strap and you strap yourself to the pole. Okay. So you're able to do your work hands-free. Uh, here we have our sleeves, rubber sleeves that we wear when we're in arm's reach of the uh, line. Yeah. And so is that really gloves. gonna like, if you get, sh that will not, you won't feel anything? You should not feel it. We have. Three types of protection, the actual okay. bucket truck, sleeves, gloves, okay. liner inside the bucket truck. We have to have three proofs before we can get close to a hotline. Okay, gotcha. All right, and so we got, now this, this isn't even full of tools. You know, no, kind of uh, like, you, I'm, I'm like B-team dress right weigh, now. You go varsity dress, so I'm B-team dress. How, how heavy does this weigh? Uh, that belt would probably, could weigh up to another 30, 20 to 30 pounds. Look at you, making me want to be a better woman. All right, let's keep it moving. <laughs> this thing is not, um, by the way, breathable. No. So I respect you even more for this. Okay, so what does it take to become a lineman? Uh, a lot of training, I'm a sure. A lot of training, we do, we do schooling. Uh, when you start out here at Berkeley, either you can go through Trident Tech, mm -hmm. and we do have schooling, which uh, Kevin Mazzell is our trainer. Uh, and to be a full-on lineman, it takes about five year apprenticeship mm -hmm. to, to graduate through the class but we start off in stages and year by year wow. you, you progress. So it's on ongoing training. It's ongoing training, okay. it never really stops. For the folks at home who don't, may sometimes not appreciate what it takes to keep the power going, what are some of the scenarios you've seen over the years where, especially during storms and stuff, right? I mean. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've seen tornadoes. I've worked aftermath of tornadoes, hurricanes. I've been up oh. and down the East Coast. I've been to Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, we do send a lot of our employees out to help mm -hmm. uh, restoration and here at home. I mean, we do a lot of it. Anything and everything from broken poles to, I mean, just everything destroyed. The path of a tornado, there's nothing standing at all. I will never complain about the lights going out, by the way, just so you know. Well, I'm you glad you don't. You will never hear me ever say that. But um, it's, is it also kind of a brotherhood too? Um, you know, you have, y'all are helping wanna... people from all over, but I, I feel like it's kind of, like police officers and stuff like that. You're all coming in, like when a big hurricane hits an area, don't y'all all kind of huddle it's, together and I, see what I, you can I, do? I feel like it's like a family, to tell you the yeah. truth. It is a brotherhood. I mean, uh, we try to be our brother's keeper. We always look after our own. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, all the linemen out there, it, you're right. It's mm -hmm. a brotherhood. We look out for each other and we do come together on big events and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, and it's dangerous. It's I mean, every dangerous. day. You always want to look out for it. You, you look out for every step. And, and talk about why you decided to do this. What made you? get into uh, this line of business? I grew up being a, a drum junkie, so yeah. I was a big surfer, yeah. uh, motorbike person, and playing with electricity. When I got out there and got to do it for the first time and get up in a bucket, there's tr trust me, there's definitely yeah. a rush. You're uh, Adrenaline. The hair, they're drilling, the hair stands up on your arms, you're really messing with high voltage stuff. How far are you going up, typically? Uh, what do you mean, up on the poles? Yes, uh, as I've, far as a, like a, line goes? I mean, as, what's as, the furthest you've been? Uh, tallest pole I've climbed was 80 foot, which some mm -hmm. of these guys around here are a lot, they've climbed a lot taller. That's just my experience in mm -hmm. 16 years of being a lineman. 16 uh, years, wow. Yeah, 16 years. So I bet you never thought you'd do this though. No, I didn't, not really. Uh, it's one of those things that it just happened. I mean, it, my, it just the way life 
turn. Okay. And um, as far as like, I know that y'all work long hours and stuff like that. I just want the folks at home to have an appreciation for the fact that, especially after a big storm and things like that, you really have to hunker down and kind of just get the job done, right? Yeah, you hunker down. Uh, you got to leave everything at home. I mean, my wife and kids don't see me that often when a storm yeah. comes in town. Uh, they, they're prepared for it and they know about it. They know when this is happening that they might not see us at all for months on end yeah. sometimes. Well, Teddy, thank you so much for not only giving me great information, but for getting me into this suit that I'm looking forward to getting out of, but I appreciate it. And for more information on energy saving tips, programs, and services, you can go online to berkeleyelectric.coop.